Good morning, adventurers. It is day two of our Mexican trip. We're hanging out with Mr. Tall this morning. Hi. The, the folks from the way away uh, already ate this morning. We are on a mission to have a very late breakfast. We are starving. We are heading to a nice little place we found on Yelp. We're gonna have a nice little brisk walk there. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be good. Hopefully, Hopefully it, doesn't it doesn't rain. rain. The weather is looking uh, a little menacing today, but it's gonna but be good. I guess we'll just have to hunker down there and eat for hours. Yeah, as Allison's really trying to talk me into us getting matching shirts like this. <laughs> I wanted all of us to get them. So we can be proper spring breakers. Yeah, that's what you do in Cancun, right? <laughs> we have to get some kind of goofy, tacky Cancun swag while we're here, though. 100%. We're debating if Tall is going to get up there and dance with them. Should Show I? them up. Yeah. I'm sure the viewers are saying yes. How much trouble would I get into realistically? You probably wouldn't. You probably would wouldn't go to Mexican jail. You might get a punch in the face. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> this is uh, huevos divorzados, I think, which is like divorced eggs. Never had it before, but it looks amazing. Yeah. And I tried to recreate my chilaquiles from Colorado. It didn't quite work out, but it looks freaking yeah. amazing. It's chorizo and chips, and I'm guessing it's cheese. I thought I got red sauce, but... A little bean dip right there. Know. Yeah, bean dip. I'll oh, take what it. did you get? Cause this I looks... got this thing called a moileta, Ooh. and it's like bean paste and like an egg on top and some cheese. It looks real good. Yeah. I'm excited. That was delicious, y'all. We had the whole place to ourselves, too. Uh, now I guess we're gonna head back to the casa. Yeah, <laughs> place has got class. Just like me. We're just at the store getting some provisions. This might trying. be my favorite part of Mexico. Yeah, they have super affordable pastries. They're all like 50 cents USD. Yeah, Pretty... I don't remember, know if you guys remember when we were in Mexico City, we went into a place and you just got a tray and like loaded it. It was like a couple bucks for an entire tray of goodies and it was so amazing. Guys, we got all kinds of goodies from the Petit Marche. We're gonna be cooking ourselves up a little group dinner tonight. It's gonna be real healthy because we have not been eating healthy since we got here. Thanks. Right, Tall? Uh, grouper grits. You ever had grouper grits? No. Me neither. Is that a uh, sea fish? Sea fish. <laughs> Guys, we've been using these water bottles from this company called Grail, but it, the water bottle comes with a built in filter that filters out most of everything. And the way it works is you just fill it up over here from the tap. And you pop this in here, and as you squeeze it down, filtered water rises up inside this little compartment, and then you just drink from it like a bottle. It takes a little bit of muscle, though. <laughs> Boom. So we haven't had to buy any water while we've been here. Let's go. Let's go. By the way, guys, we are not too well versed in like uh, doing airline points and credit card points and things like that, but we've been dabbling in it a little bit. So. We knew we were going to have to book all this travel here in Mexico and in Cuba. So in anticipation of that, we got a rewards credit card and we were able to get to the, the threshold to get the bonus points very quickly because we knew we were gonna be booking a bunch of expensive travel. So we did that within about three weeks of getting the card and we just got our rewards points. So check this out. This is their little dashboard. It shows $761 we can use towards travel. That's sweet. So all of our some of our upcoming flights, we actually haven't booked some of our flights down here in Mexico, so we're going to be doing that with this money, and our flights back to the States. So that is pretty sweet. So we might have to dig into this a little bit more and get a little bit better at all this uh, travel rewards points business. We forgot to mention it, but this place has a pool. So we are all about to head down and chill poolside. Actually, I forgot my back. Yeah, that's That's important. <laughs> you buzzing me? Buzzing Mr. Beeler. Josh and Ashley have put some uh, questions in a little bucket Ooh. here, and they're gonna ask us 
the questions. We're gonna ask away. <laughs> ask away. <laughs> We're gonna ask away. <laughs> and Tall's gonna participate as well. I think I found an octopus in the pool. <laughs> and so is the octopus. But we're about to get to know each other a little bit better. And we're gonna play Better Know a YouTuber because we realized that we haven't actually introduced our friends too properly. We have the Endless Adventure here, Eric and Allison, and then we have the Traveling Clat, Mr. Tall. Where is Tall? I... He's around or something. Oh. Oh, me? <laughs> oh, man. I have a question for you. Go ahead and find it. Yeah, let me, uh, let me reach in there and get everything all wet. What do you watch on YouTube? I mostly watch a lot of news and politics stuff. Really? Yeah. Even though you do a lot of travel content? Yeah, because we travel, I feel like it's important to know where we're going in the world around us. When did you start your YouTube channel and why? Uh. We were just talking about this. Surprising fun fact, we started our YouTube channel the same day as The Way Away. Mm -hmm. Also, Very we true. all <laughs> almost have the same birthdays. We've been married almost the exact same amount of time and we're all like the same age. So. Uh, and this has been Better Know a YouTuber. Thanks to our friends, The Endless Adventure and the traveling. Wow, there he is. Traveling class. Hi there. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> this little thing. What is it? A it's ladybug? ladybug, but I think he's biting me. It kind he's of biting. Well, we're going to stay in today. We're just lounging at uh, our cool Airbnb pool. This place is included with the room. Get out of here. The pool. <laughs> if you guys want to get an Airbnb, keep you want to stay here in <laughs> The QA is over. I think we nailed it. I will put a link to the video on the Wayways channel in the description below. Go check it out, but after you finish this video. Whoa. No time's over, y'all. It's getting cold out here. I don't know how to close it. Nice job. Being a real asshole. <laughs> there you go. There you go. We got a bunch of provisions at the store earlier to make ourselves a little, little group dinner. All the vegetables. Yeah, we've been needing, in desperate need of vegetables. <laughs> And we were just introduced to these, I think they're called sopes. Sopes? Um, we had them in our like, last vlog and they were freaking yeah, delicious. They're like these little white corn things and they have a little ridge. You toast each side and then you put um, beans in there and then fill it kind of, I think, with whatever toppings you want. I'm sure there's more traditional ways, but we got some mole sauce that we're going to cook all these in and then put them on top with some cheese. We also got a giant half of a papaya because it just looked freaking delicious. It looks amazing. we might have a problem. This is the biggest pan we have, and only the, we just put in the broccoli. <laughs> it's already spilling over. So we gotta fit all this stuff in there still. Maybe I'll split it up, do a little in there. Yeah, you might have to do that. I'm digging in, you guys. Allison nailed it. Look at this, freaking feast. Sitting down to a nice little family dinner. Look at that. Isn't this so nice, guys? Yes. Nice work, girlfriend. Thanks, sir. Nailed it. So, the sope is on the bottom. The little um, white corn, I guess, like fluffy tortilla guy. And then there is a layer of black beans that you cannot see. And then on top is a bunch of vegetables in mole sauce with just some melted cheese on top. Yeah. How's that sope, tall? It's real good. Pretty damn good, huh? It's got a little bit of kick. If this is your first time on this channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on that little notification button. Goodbye. And that's how you end a vlog, y'all. Right there. Learning from the best over here. <laughs> Speaking of ending vlogs, we are going to end our vlog as well. Um, as we mentioned the other couple days we've been here, we will have a link in the description to this Airbnb so that you can book it yourself if you'd like to, because we've had an amazing time here. Yes. This is our last day here. I don't know if we mentioned that. Yeah, I'm kind of sad we didn't get to do more exploring, but we had some yeah. good food. We'll be back. Good food, fun. Yeah. But. Okay, those guys are having a little YouTube party out there, <laughs> so we're coming in here where it's quiet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, had an amazing time. We are headed to Tulum tomorrow. It should um, be pretty fun. We yeah. have some exciting stuff in store. Um, it'll be interesting to see what the bus ride is like. We have to oh, take yeah. a three-hour bus ride tomorrow. Yeah. And we haven't really planned it out very well, so yeah. we're just We haven't been go... planning that well in general, you no. guys. No! <laughs> I mean, for, for a bunch of travel vloggers who do this for their full-time 
thing. Like, we all got here and we're like, did you make any plans? Did you make any plans? And we're like, oh no. Well, I was just waiting for everyone else to make the plans. <laughs> we were all just waiting to figure it out. We'll figure but, it out though. Yeah, it should be fun. But yes, yeah, so we're going to pack up a little bit and go to bed. Yeah. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, adventures. See you on the road.